We didn't know if we were ever going to play, and so we're finally out here, and it's so exciting every week. You know, you can't take anything for granted because you never know when it'll end. I mean, I've grown up with, with most of these guys my whole life and played with them for ever, and so it's just nice to have them on the field and, and get to play with them. Welcome back to Friday Frenzy. Farragut's Eddie Courtney underwent surgery to remove a cancerous tumor on his prostate, uh, forcing the Admirals head coach to miss their last three games, including the region opener. Yeah, and now with a chance to jump atop the leaderboard in Region 1 for 6A, Courtney back on the sidelines. A big welcome back for Coach Courtney as the Admirals welcome Dobbins Bennett tonight to Admiral Country. Of course, as we mentioned, Coach Courtney back on the sidelines. Great to have him there after the surgery. And, well, we're going to pick this one up first quarter. Tyler Tesnier barrels his way into the end zone to put the Indians on the board. Extra point was good, 7-0. Zane Whitson, then the fake pitch, then goes long, finds Bray Marshall wide open. Dobbins Bennett making a statement early in this one, 14 to nothing. Second quarter, Admirals gaining some momentum. Dawson Moore, great catch. Finds Mason Collins in the back corner of the end zone. You saw he went airborne, held onto the ball. But it's not enough. Admirals, they would cut the lead to 28-14 heading into the locker room, but it's the Indians that spoil Coach Courtney's return. 56-35 the final. Six Sports' Kellyanne Stitz had a front row seat for this one and has more now from West Knox County. Dobbins Bennett head coach Joey Christian says the team goes into every game with four goals in mind. To start fast, win the kicking game, be the most physical team, and limit penalties. And aside from some penalties, the team did just that. The Indians started fast with a 14-0 advantage after the first and never looked back, owning the ground game with 250 total yards, with leading rusher Tyler Tensner having a game with four rushing touchdowns while also getting it done in the air with 279 passing yards. Christian says the team's experience is shown through in this big game. A great group of kids. They work hard. They come every day, do what we ask them to do. Uh, and they, they've done a tremendous job all year of just buying into the program. Uh, we got 30 seniors in our program, so, you know, we're very... Uh, we're very experienced across the board, so I think that shows. I caught up with Farragut head coach Eddie Courtney after the game, and he said while it wasn't the outcome they wanted, it felt very good to be back on the sidelines with his team. Reporting from Farragut High School, Kelly Instance, WATE 6 on your side. Thanks, Kelly.